this is what we're seeing. We are, and I don't know why, maybe for advantage, maybe for fortune, fame, position, acceptance, inclusion, I don't know, for praise, for relevance. We're seeing people begin to stand further and further away from biblical Christianity. Amen. And anytime you see Christians bemoaning the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Yes, sir. Anytime you see Christians who, who will tell you, well, I have no problem with LBGTQ plus all that kind of stuff. That's the falling away. It's falling away. It's falling away. And, and this is what we've seen uh, as we've watched uh, believers uh, online and elsewhere defend Beyonce. Now, let me say this to you about Beyonce. Beyonce is for whom Christ died. Jesus loves her just as much as Jesus loves you and me. I think she's a strikingly beautiful woman. Can sing up a storm, highly talented. But that ain't what I'm talking about. This ain't no beauty contest. We're talking about souls. We're talking about right. We're talking about wrong. You know, um, some guy said, you know, uh, you know, well, where did you get the idea that uh, she sold her soul to the devil? Well, her. <laughs> now, I, I could be wrong, but if you want to know where I got the idea, I got it from her. She's the one talking about performing and, and doing things, and she's summoning someone from the dead. And shots her. Uh, so this, this, this thing takes over her. Sasha Fierce takes over. She said that. I didn't say it. She's the one who talks about levitating. Do you know how, you, how much power you got to have with Satan to levitate? Where, where did I get it from? I got it from her. There are a multitude of other things. I hope she has it. But, but I tell you what, there are things that she said so I'm taking my time because I don't I, when they play it or whatever I, I don't I don't want to leave room for misspoke and I don't want to leave room for you say for, for, you know, for, me, for me to misspeak and I don't want you to mishear Now, for those believers out there, I'm not going to judge anybody's heart, but for those believers out there who defend her, she wrote in her poem, Denial. She wrote this. Now, Denial is a poem that was written, she's trying to find out whether or not her lover, husband, whomever, I don't know, is cheating on her. And she said, but still inside me, coiled deep, was the need to know, are you cheating? Are you cheating on me? So, and I guess, the, I guess it was denied. So hence the name of the poem, Denial, all right? She said this in the poem. I crossed myself in thought. I saw the devil. I grew thickened skin on my feet. I bathed in bleach and plugged my menses 
menses monthly with the pages of the holy book. Now you, you Christians out there who can defend someone who have said this, defend on. But I don't believe a regular woman, she don't have to be saved. I just don't believe a regular woman, uh, something like that would even cross your mind to do with the Bible. No regular, she ain't got to be no church mother. You don't have to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't have to be a missionary. Don't, you don't need to be capped. Amen. You don't need to be a prophetess or anything like that. Just regular. I don't believe that a ordinary woman void of the Holy Spirit. She got to be spirit filled. Just got her spirit. A regular person regular woman would use the pages of the scripture for a tampon. Now y'all say leave her alone. Do you leave that alone? I don't know how a regular person could even imagine such. See, that's that demon stuff. Yeah. Exodus, you know, uh, that's demon. That's, that's highly, that's uh, only demons talk like that. You got to have the, de the devil in you. But these were her words, not mine. Now, when you all uh, have a fit on this, have a fit on her. She's the one who said it. And in, and in this poem, uh, she acknowledges, she calls it the holy book. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for. That ain't going to happen. That will never happen. Write that about the Quran. Yeah. Say, say that. Say that. That's right. That's right. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You know why it's not going to happen? Because in Islam, they got something that we don't seem to have in Christianity. They got men. They got people with backbone who won't take something like that lying, lying down. They'll say something. I guarantee you, you would never get a Muslim online to defend such. But Christian, oh, us, we are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, like to me, those words don't mean what they used to. We, we, we just take anything. Do you not know that the disabled community is stronger than the Church of God in Christ? Think about that. The disabled community is stronger than the modern day Christian. See, because, uh, now this happened two weeks ago. Beyonce's representative have confirmed the S word will be removed from heated. Earlier today, 1st of August, disability activists publicly called the singer out for using the S word. She said spaz. At the end of a track, he did is the 11th song from Beyonce's seventh solo album, Renaissance. She raps the lyrics spazzing on the, on that, uh, Behind. Spaz that. 
which some fans pointed out was derogatory towards disabled people. Particularly the word used to apply, particularly as the word as the word used to apply to people with cerebral palsy. A member of her, of her team says, the word not intentionally used in a harmful way will be replaced. The disabled community. The disabled community. But the church, the church, all online, I'm getting instructed from sisters, praise the Lord, all these, all these people, see y'all, y'all, y'all mess with the wrong preacher. See, I'm already dead, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ who lives in me. I don't desire your, your approval, your friendship, your camaraderie, anything. I'm serving to him, say one day, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Now apart from that, I hope you get saved. Then we can, you know, we have something in common. You need to, need to get saved, but if you don't, you're going to hell. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know y'all don't like this. So, now, now, now here, here it is. The disabled people spoke with one voice. Now, will you tell me why the church is divided on, on this? 